Hi friend, thank you for being here again. If you just found my channel, my name is Sintike and you are welcome. Please join me every Friday with a new content. I received a message on Instagram from Ashley and she said, I can't quite pinpoint what exactly makes your paintings so realistic. And um, that is always interesting <laughs> to hear from me because even if I try it's hard to share and explain my painting process and experiences. We always want to see real and good results in our work and of course we want to see those results in a short time. And yes it's kind of impossible in a short time <laughs> but we can have different things to put in practice every day to see the results we want in our artistic work. Saying that, I tried to sit on my desk, I took my laptop and I wrote some tips for you to help you conquer your painting goals. To paint realistic. Number one, you need a photo as a reference. And the drawing is a key. That's why you need a photo. If you want to paint realistic, our drawing has to be realistic as well. Some artists have an advanced development in drawing in different techniques. Others prefer to have a drawing guide like mark, marking uh, a grid. Others artists use a projector. Feel free to develop and decide how you want to work. Number two, work in layers. Yes, when you want to paint with watercolor and make a realistic effect, you have to work one layer at a time. And pay attention. You need to leave the areas of bright white and touch. So the bright white of the subject you are painting, it will be the white of your watercolor painting. Number three, work from general to detail from light to dark between every layer. This exercise of observation is something that we can develop and improve and put in practice every day. Working from general to details from light colors to the dark ones. Number four, learn how to use the colors and how to mix them. This is very important, but also very, very, very fun. <laughs> you can dive in in color theory, fun exercise, select the colors you want to use as well. All of these take time, but it's worth it. There is nothing more satisfying when we see improvement in our creative process and in our artworks. Remember all these tips and leave any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't give up. You are going to see beautiful, beautiful results in your painting. I promise you, just keep working. See you next time.